All right, I'm really excited today. I have something really special in store for you guys. We're gonna thoroughly test these batteries. I'm gonna let you know how much per milliamp in cents these batteries are worth. So make sure you guys stick around and find out. Also, a couple other really special tips and a surprise for you. So, which is the best AAA battery? Is it Railback Fusion, Duracell, Energizer, Everready, Duracell, or we have some rechargeables, lithiums, nickel metal hydrates. Also, look at the special test we got coming up. Fact or fiction, the drop test. Well, I put a piece of tape on the battery that is fully charged. So check it out. It's supposed to bounce just a little bit more if it's not fully charged, like the one on the right. Watch the one on the right, it should bounce more, as they say, if it is not charged properly. Let's go ahead and begin. This is the charger we're gonna use for the test. Now, I've used a lot of chargers, and this one does the most thorough test. Also, we're gonna use some flashlights, as you see. Well, let's go ahead and begin the test get this charger unboxed and start discharging these batteries. So we'll start off discharging these batteries at 500 milliamps. So guys, don't forget, subscribe to the channel if you wanna see your test ideas come to life. And make sure you comment below, let me know what exactly you wanna see tested and just how you want it tested. That's what we do here at the Nate's Interactive Auto community find out what works and just what doesn't work here we've begun the test and as you can see only 28 milliamp hours drawn so far in the test within three minutes now we jumped along to 10 minutes and you can see the voltage here 1.30 for the Duracell Quantum 1.44 for the Energizer Lithiums and we'll come back to that again in a moment. Let's go ahead and get our test started with our flashlights. So I wanna know just how this affects these flashlights in comparison with the charger. We will have a higher drain and a lower drain with the charger versus the flashlights. And as you can see, the gray flashlight, this is the Ever Ready. Well, and you can also see that it dropped out first. So, which one do you guys think is going to actually last the longest in the flashlights? Make sure you drop a comment below. Let me know. I want to hear what you guys think. I was definitely surprised to see that Duracell Quantum win that test. Well, you saw the lithium energizer. It just drained right off, right in front of us. You could see it. Now, let's go ahead, check this out. One hour and nine minutes so far into the test and most of the batteries have already been drained off so you can look right here and see it just two batteries remain the railback and the energizer make sure you guys definitely stick around i have some really cool stuff coming up also you want to see these other batteries you want to see just how these compare to the batteries we have here and don't forget like i said i do have some special information coming for you guys as you can see right there, we have the voltage, 1.25 for the Duracell Quantum, and the lithium ion. Also, here's the milliamp hours for each battery. And so far, you can see the lithium and railback are ahead of the pack. Always make sure and watch out when buying your batteries on Amazon or eBay, because there's definitely been a lot of scams taking place. I bought a lot of batteries myself and tested them. This is the best way I've found to do so. Testing the amperage draw on the batteries. A lot of bad 18650s, they look like they were originally manufactured by a large manufacturer. So make sure you guys steer clear of those and it wouldn't hurt if you were able to test the batteries yourself. So I definitely recommend getting one of these chargers or just find something similar to this. I'll make sure include 
a link in the description below for everything I've used in this video. That way, if you guys want to know more information or you want to know just where to find it, you'll be able to find it right there. Like I said, if nothing else, make sure you guys get something so that you guys are able to test these batteries for yourself because you definitely don't want to be losing that kind of money. And the lithium is definitely ahead of the pack. Look at this, 945 milliamp hours compared to the second largest, which is the rail back at 658, except the lithium is definitely still going strong in the test. So, which one do you think is going to actually be the best out of all of these batteries? 1298 milliamp hours, much better. But the real question is, for what you're paying for those batteries, because they're definitely very, very expensive, is it really a good deal? And how much is it per milliamp? How much money are you paying? Well, as I said, I'm gonna include all this information. This way you'll know, are you spending your money the right way? Are you actually getting a good deal? The best or most bang for your buck. Well, here at Nate's Interactive Auto, we definitely make sure that we use what works. Make sure you guys stick around because we're almost there. We almost got the best information coming up here just in one moment. So you saw the time. You saw there's definitely no comparison. The lithium definitely topped them all. But will it remain that way when we factor in the cost? And out of these batteries, which one do you think is actually ahead of the class? Which one is going to be the most cost effective? And can the same battery actually win in the flashlight test versus the charger? Now, this test is going to be done a different discharge rate. We're doing this at 700 milliamps. So we raise the amperage a little bit on the discharge rate by 200 milliamps. So Duracell, Energizer, or Rayovac, you're definitely going to be surprised who comes out on top in this one. I know I was. Well, what suggestions do you have? What can we test next? You know, we definitely test fuel additives, duct tapes, you name it, we test it. So here we are two minutes into the test and discharging at around 700 milliamps. Guys, I definitely want to give you a special thanks for taking time to watch these videos. As always, we really appreciate you here. Well, you can see the discharge rate, the voltage is at 1.2, 1.2, 1.8 on the Duracell being the lowest one. So the milliamp hours, they're all tied up for now, but you're about to see who's coming out on top. And that's just at 15 minutes. So as I said, who do you think is gonna win this one? Here we have the same discharge rate as I said before, 700 milliamps. Who will be the winner? Battle of the Titans, Energizer, Duracell, or Rayovac? Well, this is really important to me because I definitely use a lot of batteries. 581 on the Rayovac milliamp hours, 466 on the Energizer milliamp hours, and 3 78 on the Duracell milliamp hours. Now the time, you can see the Duracell has lasted 34 minutes. The Energizer has lasted 42 minutes. And the Rayovac coming in at first at 52 minutes with the most milliamps hours lasted. So I have to say I was surprised on that one. And I was always a big Duracell fan, but not after this test. Well, take a look at this graph because it's really going to put it into perspective for you. Cents per milliamp hour. So if you look right here on the charts, we have 10 cents per milliamp for the EverReady Silver. 7 cents for the Rayovac. 
six cents per milliamp for the quantum and eight cents per milliamp hour for the lithium six cents energizer five cents duracell eight cent rail back well thank you guys for watching nate's interactive auto